warm now, is it? No, it's definitely not warm. Just the weird shaped mirror. Welcome to our morning edition of Small Engine Velocity Motor Vlog on the Honda Ruckus. Again, my battery is going to die on my phone because I forgot to charge it last night. Isn't that great? Now it's going to sit in the middle of my speedometer for the whole rest of the ride because I can't touch it because I am wearing two pairs of gloves, as you can see here. Uh, I am wearing two shirts, three shirts, and a pair of uh, gray jeans with a pair of sweatpants underneath it with super long white socks and black shoes that I'm trying to pass off as dress shoes. And it works! I guess it works. <laughs> because uh, no one said anything about it at work. But I'm glad that everyone is back with me again for another Moto Vlog. And today's subject is something that I was talking about yesterday, but then my uh, GoPro decided to die. So everyone knows, or if you don't know, I am upgrading the front end of the bike with discs. I've already did the, uh, the suspension upgrade with the disc brake conversion, and I was planning on waiting for the uh, waiting for the uh, wheel and hub so that I could upgrade to the disc brake and I was going to do it in the summer but uh, I found someone online or someone found me through my videos saying that they had a front wheel and it looks cool it's a pretty sweet front wheel and gave me cut me a pretty cool deal too um, so I want to see all I would need after that is just the tire and then I could do the rest um, hopefully I have everything that I need to bleed the brakes and all the other stuff, but we'll see. I haven't got that far yet. I just don't want to take apart the front end of the ruckus without everything that I need because I still technically ride this thing to work. But the question was, is it really a, a smart idea to upgrade just the front of your bike to a disc brake? Like, we're talking wheel locking, stopping power on just your front wheel. Seems uh, like a little bit too much power to be in the front of your bike. So, hold on, my head and helmet's fogging up like crazy. I guess because I'm talking so much hot air. I just wanted to, to ask if everyone, anyone else had that idea. I mean, I understand now I could, if I did stop better on dry roads, it would be wonderful because I could stop better. I could, um, you know, I won't hit anything. But, like, in not the best of conditions, whenever the ground is, like, wet or something else. Oh, my gosh, I'm only doing 35. Like whenever the ground is wet or whatever, that's going to be terrible. And coming from a guy who just face planted off a bike because he tapped his front brakes too hard and lost traction, uh, that doesn't sound very appealing to me. I don't know if it doesn't sound appealing to anyone else, but I'm fairly sure no one in their right mind wants to uh, fall on their face because of a front disc brake. I know it looks cool. So, I guess when I do the rear suspension, I mean, when I do the rear fatty, I'll go ahead and look and see about getting disc brakes. Now, that's another thing I was going to ask a question about. I'm doing the, the longer stretch with the really big rear wheel. Is that like commuter quality type stuff? Am I going to have a hard time or an uncomfortable ride to work because I have this big giant rear wheel and an extra long six inch more stretch 
than I did before. And I know it'll look cool, <laughs> but like, look at me right now. I'm using this thing as a workhorse. And I have no idea why I'm not even going 40 miles per hour, but it is like 15 degrees colder than it was yesterday. Hold on. There. So yeah, is that like something that's going to be a good uh, commuter piece, or am I going a little bit too far on the uh, on the commuter bike and turning it into the cool commuter bike? Anyways, it doesn't matter because I'm going to do it. And I can always reverse it if I don't like it. Or if I get into the ruckus, I can swap that into that other ruckus and then uh, turn this one back into the commuter bike. We'll see. I mean, I enjoy this thing the way it is right now. Actually, it's a little bit rougher than it was before, but the rear suspension is better now. The uh, front suspension is uh, lower. I can't say better as far as comfort and ride, but it's okay. It works. I can't believe I'm only going 35 miles per hour. How embarrassing. Yesterday I was going 45. Whenever it's super cold, my bike decides it doesn't run right. too dense and I need more fuel or who knows <laughs> I'm going 40 or I, yeah I'm going 40 I'm happy with that so with those two mods it's just a question I'd like some feedback as to what you think the outcome will be is that a good idea is it a bad idea are my hands freezing off right now because it's super cold are my toes still there? I can't tell. But yes, those two. Disc brakes, great idea, bad idea. Even though it's going to get done anyway. And uh, rear stretch, commuter bike, nah. You let me know. Oh, it is so cold. The uh, weatherman said it was 38. To me, that's pretty cold. I don't care who you are. As a human being on the planet Earth. 38 degrees is cold. And it's tuck time. Let's see how fast we can get in 32, 38 degree weather. We haven't broke for, oh, 41. And I got like messages everywhere and low battery warnings and you name it. <laughs> Defog. Golly. I'm like looking through the top part of my helmet. Because it's super cold. Anyways, for our, those of you that are looking at me through this lower camera, hi! Can you see the fog in my wind in my windshield? It's terrible. My right hand feels frozen. I feel like my engine is just warming up. Remind me on the way home to warm up the engine a little bit more before I take off. And now I feel like it's starting to sound like I have an exhaust leak. by now I hate this light because no matter what I do it never changes but anyways thank you for watching we are going to have another uh, sit here at the light for 400 beers session again so I'm excited this is my second moto vlog since I broke my arm or my broke my shoulder and had pins and junk in it so you know, maybe I'll get back on the Lafon eventually, but the ruckus, because it's automatic with CBT transmission, I can do it. So, thank you for watching. Please.
like or subscribe. Tune in for, for more. I've been doing Facebook Lives because my YouTube got suspended as far as live streaming because of copyrights and I got a strike. Hopefully that gets cleared and we can do that again. But, anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.